Hello everyone. This is Dr. Paul Hart from Capella University and I'm very happy to uh, be able to be with you this evening. I'm attending the annual convention of the Wisconsin Association of School Boards and uh, I'm just uh, happy to share with you some of the information from the convention uh, that's being held in Milwaukee uh, this month. It's a really excellent event. There are some very good speakers uh, and uh, Margaret Waitley, uh, for instance, uh, won a very outstanding speaker that I know many of you are familiar with. She's done some excellent work in the area of uh, systems thinking and chaos theory uh, over the last several years, and she's going to be one of the keynote speakers for the convention a little bit later this week. So I um, wanted to just comment a little bit on what I'm hearing at the convention. Uh, one of the most encouraging things that I've heard today, uh, I heard uh, Dr. Pig, Pig Hinckley, who is the superintendent of schools in um, uh, one of the uh, Indiana school systems, uh, and she just gave a, an excellent presentation on how to build uh, good relationships between superintendents and uh, school boards. And so we heard a, a very extended uh, presentation by her on how to establish those relationships. And it was a very, very good presentation uh, on Dr. Hinckley's part. Um, one of the things that was very encouraging to me about this presentation was the uh, heavy emphasis on systems thinking. Uh, in fact, uh, there were several parts of the presentation that related very directly to some of the works that we're some of the work that we're doing at Wisconsin Association of School Boards with the Key Works for School Boards uh, uh, book that was created by the National School Board Association and which is the basis for several of the workshops that we're doing uh, with Wisconsin School Boards. Uh, but Dr. Hinckley uh, further expanded on the idea of systems thinking, very much in emphasizing the importance of using a systematic approach uh, to doing board development and understanding the dynamics of uh, board relationships with uh, superintendents. She did a great job of talking about some of the environmental factors that are influencing and really causing a great deal of, con of uh, conflict and tension in the relationships between school boards and superintendents. And, and then she presented and reinforced some of the information from the National School Board Association about how to deal with those. Uh, she presented some uh, additional resources. Um, for instance, she mentioned um, a new book by Stephen Covey's uh, son on trust uh, and uh, emphasized the importance of the need for a trusting relationship between the school board and the superintendent. So she presented some of that new information that Stephen Covey's uh, son has put in his new book. And I, I would recommend uh, that you at least take a look at that book. It looks like a very interesting book. In fact, it might be a great book for everyone on your school board to read along with your superintendent and use perhaps as a discussion uh, for uh, an open board meeting or a board retreat. Um, I think that, that it would be a very interesting discussion and really be fruitful in bringing up and helping you to assess the, the level of trust between yourself uh, and your uh, superintendent. So I very strongly recommend that. Uh, she also mentioned uh, Fullen's book on uh, leadership in a Time of Change, which is a very interesting book. That's another one I think that I've mentioned here on this website before. Um, and a number of other resources uh, in, in that presentation. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get an electronic version uh, of the PowerPoints. Uh, I'm going to try to do that, and if I can, I will post that along with this um, uh, recorded message. Uh, which you'll be able to take a look at and hopefully learn some, some good things from. So uh, this is the first of what will be uh, a, a daily entry. I'll, I'll try to do an entry for Wednesday and I'll try to do an entry for Thursday uh, uh, on the Wisconsin Association of School Boards Annual Convention 
Um, if I'm not able to do something on Thursday, I'll try to do it on Friday. I'm, I'm going to be here on Thursday and then going to be heading out Thursday late in the afternoon or early in the evening. So um, be, please be patient. If you don't see something on the Thursday uh, date, then uh, look for something on Friday or at least early in the, in the uh, weekend coming up. Uh, it's, this has been an excellent convention so far. I'm really looking forward to hearing some of the other speakers. Um, and uh, I'll be telling you about those as I hear about them and um, as some of these speakers are, are, are doing their presentation. So thanks very much for listening. And I look forward to giving you an update uh, tomorrow on the Wisconsin Association of School Boards Annual Convention in Milwaukee. Bye now.